All right. Are we watching the Gla- Gladiator too? Are we? I think we got, we're getting called out. Are we? Are going to watch rap- this? I haven't watched this yet. <clears throat> I have a big warning because uh, the Gladiator trailer starts with like a mini trailer to the trailer. Here's the trailer because we spelled it out for you. Oh. 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 We, we wrote it on the screen. Like, I want to know what trailer house did this because no one wants this, dude. All right, let's watch this thing. I remember that day. I never forgot it. That a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? I don't know. The movie no one Maybe asked for. You should probably pause it. We gotta, we gotta like, cut it up, true. right? Who are you? So Denzel's I, in it. I'm That's Denzel cool. motherfucking Washington. I mean, I do like Denzel Washington. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he's great, and I feel like I don't know. It feels like it might be. I will say, <clears throat> out of the place. script, the script he read had to be good for him to sign on because he gets to pick and choose yeah. at this point, right? Yep. And it's not That's like he's good. desperate for anything. Well, he re- he read the script and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna put my fuck my spin on this." Hell yeah! Yeah. So maybe the script's good. Who knows? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Did you hear that crap? The cinematography, you you couldn't do this movie unless the cinematography was absolutely top notch because Gladiator was unreal yeah, from a cinematography standpoint. Unreal. Not to mention, like when cinematography and the soundtrack changes the way soundtracks are made, uh, it's so good. Did you hear that crowd? The greatest temple Rome ever built. The Colosseum. Oh, trailer. <laughs> but do, okay, so this is back when they used to fill the Colosseum with water and do uh the the sea battles, which is crazy when you think of how the Colosseum was built and that there's all these other divided cells underneath, and that they were able to pump up and put water like tons and tons of weight of water over the top of all of that construction and those mm-hmm. cells and various things that are well up. i am a person that believes both the egyptian empire and the roman empire were far more advanced than we even can comprehend oh, and yeah. the, the movies don't even show how how far advanced uh, that they were this is what they believe in power like so all the buildings and everything are all like clay looking and disheveled and like their clothes are like robes and it's like i think that they were way like i we don't even know because buildings like you look at our modern buildings like you go to new york city and you're like oh the empire state building and it looks disheveled and it's like a a little over 100 years old so you're thinking like air and and you know it, air air degrades right and then you have wind and you so i don't know man i well i i imagine a world of a roman empire far more advanced than what we see in movies like they, far I mean, more advanced roman concrete is also extremely uh, uh famous for its uh longevity and it's because yeah. of the, they 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 think they've discovered that it's because of the uh the particular volcanic ash that they used within their mixture it just it actually uh, uh, Roman concrete not only is super hard, but but if a crack is developed, it will heal itself. Like when water goes on, it, yeah. will, it will almost like you know, like a cut on your skin. It will slowly heal itself. So, I think so. <laughs> what the fuck is? What is even going on here? Look at all they got. Like cuts? Are they meth addicts? What is this? Okay, uh, so the original what's her name is is here oh yeah and these are like her kids now maybe or something or nephews probably nephews because she had the one son right that dude looks like he's got syphilis or something he's got he's got something he's like i've done a lot of dirty things uh, sexually speaking oh i listen to a lot of punk music general acacius there are victories yet still to come Rome has so many subjects she must feed them mm. so another so 
Is he the Caesar? Is he Pedro, is Pablo Pedro's in, pa- he's in everything? Pedro, Pablo, Pascal. Pedro, oh, whatever. Pedro Pascal. Not not Mr. Fantastic. He shouldn't be Mr. Fantastic. So he's in everything. In he's too in much. Everything. He's so good, but he's in everything. It sucks. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Less is more, bro. Can Less is more. more. Shoot that guy right there. Shoot him. What am I even watching? It go, it's going from like the gladiator to the to the wars, back to the gladiator. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm. Valid point. Gladiators, the gladiators into free men. You have something in you. I knew it from the start. Did you now? So Wait. he's the gladiator. Who's this guy? I'd wager. I don't know who is this guy. He's a, the newcomer. He's a newcomer on the scene. The, the thing is that when when you saw Russell Crowe, you were like, yeah. Yeah, this guy. Absolutely. Yeah, this, guy. this guy, I'm like, uh, does he work at the vape shop? <laughs> In Echo Park? I, I think this guy works at the vape shop in Echo Park. He's like the guy that's like, I'm trying to get a residency at uh, Spaceland. I want to get a residency at Spaceland. My bad. That's what I'm trying to do. It's not the Spaceland. Oh, my God. you got to live in L.A. to know Spaceland. Yeah, if you're not from L.A. and that That's really funny if you're from L.A. Sorry, guys. Spaceland. Wow. Uh, But, yeah, he's like, he didn't even work. Like, he part-time works in the vape shop. He mostly works at the sandwich shop next door. Uh, but this guy, this is the star. I, I mean, I guess they paid for. So they, suit says it's a guy named Paul Mescal. Who Paul? Um, it's, does he? Uh, do we drink mescal with him? Mescal, mescal. Whatever. I don't know. He looks like a guy trying to get a gig at the Spaceland. All right. Well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep going. Let's see. It's your gift. <laughs> uh what what that's amazing that is pretty awesome and they did they did used to get animals from africa and be just like we're gonna put you against it good luck yep i'm gonna put you against some lions some rhinos some you know what they i've never seen though you know what you've never seen in one of these movies is people fighting some hippopotami because hippos are no joke man okay Whatever. Hold together, and when it charges, break for the wall. Like, here's the thing. I'll pause it real quick. So, one of the things that Gladiator inspired was a lot of video games. Like, there was Gladius. I think there was like, and I still there's like. There's a new game called Those That Are About to Die Salute You, which is a not a really great uh game on PC. Is this going this is the thing, is like you're doing a sequel on a movie that was so groundbreaking and so wonderful and so just beloved. So good. That people were just like, we're gonna make video games, we're gonna do spin-offs, we're gonna do all just kinds of e- stuff. J- just the nature of the 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 culture and the interactions and just how the story moved they're like we're yeah. gonna base different video games off it, it could be they're like oh we're just we're gonna make them egyptian or we're gonna make them mesopotamian or we're gonna make them byzantine it doesn't yeah. matter the exact same storyline is used over and over and not that this was original but it's it was so it was done it's, so it's, well it was the better spartacus i mean really what it was it was like spartacus done right it was you didn't the, need to remake spartacus you just needed to do gladiator and it was great and yeah. i mean did you ever play gladius such a good video game it was xbox one ps no. uh ps3 i think ps2 oh really ps2 playstation oh. 2 xbox one the really good that was a really good game man that was a really good game anyway okay okay Let's watch. What could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. The general will do. Human beings in the so Pedro Pascal fall. plays the Caesar. The C- the Caesar. Yeah, the, I, th- I think he's. Or... He appears to be the uh, uh, the general that is trusted. Gotcha. I need to only give it a push. <laughs> we make it out alive. A 
all right, all right. All right, all yeah, right. this music sucks, That's, suit. It does, there, bro. There's so like, many. Yeah, the music eek, and it's just like, yeah. This man. is this is that dominant shot. The guy walking, he's just. Uh, this is just me against the world, facing everything. They do it actually. They show a few of them. You saw it at the very beginning of the yeah. trailer, and you see it now. But it's, Get out the music's terrible, man. It, well, so it's so bad. Trailer music. They're trying to grab people who aren't even the audience for this. Can we get a good song? This is not even a good uh, song. There's no <laughs> emotional connection now. Like you just you've completely taken me out of the mood. All right, all right. Tears on the mausoleum floor. Blood stains the Coliseum door. Oh, it's a uh, Jay Z. We belong to Maximus. Now I give it to you. So that's the connection. That's why it's a sequel because there's a ring. The oh, one, one geez. ring to rule them all. Here it is, underneath the Colosseum. Apparently, a shrine has been made to Maximus Decimus Meridius, who was the star of the first film, with his all his stuff. That's I I dig the idea of this. I will see how the movie does. Let, let's see. Dream of Rome. People are not free. Jeez, the music is just so much. Yes, I don't. I want to not it's listen just, to music anymore. It's just so much. I was on. Now I will control an empire. And they're cutting together the. The cutting together the dialogue to make the dialogue work for whatever narrative they're creating for the trailer. And it's terrible when you can hear the different inflection in De like Denzel Washington, yeah. a professional like orator. And they're like, no, no, we're just going to cut up your audio for the trailer. And he's like, that's not how my audio should sound. Who will not waste another generation of young men for their vanity. Strength among us. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So then it's the gladiator versus the best general who yeah. who we like because he's Pedro Pascal. The gods are oh my gosh, I didn't I didn't realize that uh Dude, this is like the there's some guy there's some guy, there's one producer in in the like executive meeting, and he was like, What do you guys think about me having a cameo? <laughs> oh man. You guys think, yeah. they're, like, they're like, I don't know about that. He's like, You guys know that I put in like six hundred thousand dollars to this, right? And they're like, uh Probably more. You'd have to be. You'd have to be like in over a million. Uh, this guy and this guy's probably a star of the film. I'm just. I'm kidding. But this is just like. Uh, this is like Richard Simmons. You know what this is? This is on Richard. the level of Acolyte Episode Seven. Fight now! Fight now! <laughs> Go get the twins! Fight now! <laughs> Oh, we we're going to get a decapitation on that one. Uh, um, yeah, that looks terrible. That looks terrible. That looks terrible. Wow, that is the ugly. That is the ugly. That's, that's rough.